hey everyone welcome back so today in this video we are going to see the another scenario based power bi interview question which has been asked by the interviewer of deloitte during the recruitment process of power bi developer okay so the question is that here you can see we have created three different pages one is sales by year okay another is profit by year and next is discount by year okay and in all three pages we have created one column chart okay and along with this column chart we have created one slicer where we have taken the region okay and if i will click on this particular column chart here you can see in the x-axis we have taken the year column and in the y-axis we have taken the sum of cells same way if you will click on this profit by year and this is the column chart and if you will click here you can see in the x-axis we have taken the year and in the y-axis we have taken the profit okay and if you will click on this particular page and if you will click on this then here you can see in the x-axis we have taken the year in in the y-axis we have taken the sum of discount okay and the common thing is that in all three pages we have taken this particular region slicer okay in the profit by year also we have taken the slicer as the region and in the sales by year page also we have taken the slicer as the region all right so now the requirement is that if i will select on any particular value of this particular slicer that should impact on these two pages as well okay let me show you first suppose if i will select on west region here okay then this chart is showing the data as per the west region correct now if i will go to this profit by year here you can see the west region has been automatically selected and this particular chart is showing the data as per the west right same way if i will go to the discount by year here you can see the west region has been automatically selected and this chart is showing as per the west region right suppose again by staying in this particular page discount by year i am selecting the east region okay here the chart is showing the data as per the east region right again if i will go to the profit by year here you can see the west region has been automatically selected and this is showing the data as per the east right same way if i will click on this sum of cells by year here also in, in the slicer part you can see the east region has been automatically selected and this chart is showing the data as per the east region right so in short the requirement is that if i am selecting any particular value of this slicer that should impact on all visual which is available in this profit by year and which is available in the discount by year pages as well okay it means we do not need to go to all pages and every time we have to select the same east region on all different pages it means if i will select on any particular value of this region slicer by staying in the cells by year page that should impact on all different pages as well it means all the visuals which is available in the profit by year and discount by year should be shown the data as per the east region okay so how you can achieve that that is the requirement all right so let's see how we can do this so by default when you are creating the visuals on one pages along with this slicer visual on this particular page okay and it will select on this particular suppose i'm selecting the west region so now it is showing the data as per the west but if i will go to this profit by year pages or discount by year pages here the west region has not been selected automatically okay it means this slicer is impacting only for this particular page right that is for sales by year it is not impacting on profit by year pages and discount by year page correct so our requirement is that this slicer should impact on all different pages as well right so for that first of all you have to select any particular page where this slicer is present okay so i'm selecting the sales by year and then you have to select on this particular slicer okay and after that here we have your options called as the view tab right so just click on this view tab and in the right hand side you can see a options called as the sync slicer okay so just click on this sync slicer then here you can see this type of window over here okay and here you can see sync slicer is basically used to add and sync with all pages or selecting specific pages okay for this reason we use this sync slicer okay so now we want this slicer should impact or this slicer should synchronize with all different pages as well okay so here we have three different pages and here you can see these three different pages are showing over here sales by year profit by year and discount by year okay 
and here we have two different columns one is this is a synchronization step and this is the view tab okay so if you will go to all three pages by default mode this slicer is showing right that's why here all the buttons are showing clicked okay if i will deselect these two okay and if i will go to this profit by year page here you are not able to see that slicer here also you are not able to see the slicer right again go to this sales by year then click on this slicer and click on this sync slicer okay so why it is not visible in all pages because we have disabled the view options from here in sync slicer right then if you want to remove this same slicer from different pages you can untick these things okay so now for uh, understanding purpose i am enabling these two slicer in two different pages as well okay apart from this this is the main concept that is sync slicer right so this slicer whatever slicer that we have selected will impact all the visuals which is available in the sales by year page it will not impact on all pages now okay but our requirement is that it should impact on all pages right it means this slicer should synchronize with all pages now to synchronize this slicer with all different pages what you have to do you have to enable this synchronize slicer on all different pages okay it means in profit by year pages and discount by year pages that's why we have selected all the two checkbox okay suppose we have a new pages okay and in that phase i don't want to synchronize this slicer so at that time you have to deselect that but now our requirement is that this slicer should impact on two different pages these two different pages right that's why i have enabled these two buttons here okay then just close this and click on this west region then go to the profit by year tab or we can say page and here you can see the west region has been automatically selected why it is happening because this particular slicer is now synchronized with this slicer on profit by year and with this slicer that is discount by year that's why whenever we are selecting on any particular value of this slicer that is impacting on all different pages okay so in short how we can achieve the requirement that is done by the help of this sync slicer okay or you can say this synchronized slicer all right so thanks for watching take care bye bye